Hello to everyone. I'm uh, glad to to share this with you, although I would have been uh, much more happy to, to be uh, in Tel Aviv today. So um, I'm happy to, to share with you about Reverso, which is uh, at the same time uh, known with a lot of people in Israel, but not necessarily with the uh, scientific community. Uh, we already have uh, millions of users in Israel for our uh, web and mobile app, in particular with Olim, but uh, it's not very known uh, in the, uh, in the uh, scientific community yet. So uh, Reverso is a, uh, is a series of tools, language tools, that is used by 60 million people uh, on, and uh, that has a, a mobile apps used by 20 million people with good rating and we are number one in similar web in our category. So. So the, the topic is to say uh, the, the re uh, that we redefine the dictionary. So it's a kind of a play on words uh, that dictionary usually is uh, talking about definitions. And uh, so what, what, uh, how do we usually name products? We usually name them by the main usage. So for example, if you have a phone, the, the main usage is to talk remotely. And uh, if you show this image on the left, uh, if you show that to kids, they, they will not understand that it's a phone. And uh, because now what we are defined as a phone is, uh, so we use the same term, but in fact, it, uh, uh, the, what it refers to in graphic terms or in terms of uh, uh, what it does is not the same. So uh, with a phone, you can talk remotely, but you have also access to, uh, uh, with new phones, it, it's still called a phone, but you have access to much more. Uh, to uh, apps, to uh, uh, now to uh, wallet and, and everything, but you still call it a phone. And for the dictionary, it's about the same. So because we we created a, a new notion and we wanted to to find a word to define it, and finally we said, okay, let's keep the word dictionary because uh, it, it, there's the same kind of gap between what was the traditional dictionary and what we can do with reversal context. So the main goal is still to find meanings of words and expressions, to translate them accurately, and to have uh, to use them in the right context. But what we can do with reverso context is uh, with, with an order of magnitude and a lot of different tools. So uh, we, we have big data. So in each, uh, in total, we have about 50 billion words in our corpora. Uh, in each language combination between 200 million and uh, and a billion words uh, of uh, bilingual data uh, on which we apply a lot of different processing, uh, alignment, cleaning, uh, uh, and, and then to create uh, bilingual dictionaries with um, much more coverage, uh, much more examples, and a lot of different tools that are with it. So what I would suggest all of you <laughs> remotely is to uh, download our mobile app, which is free and which has all the features, or to use uh, the site reverso.com, and you'll see it for yourself. Uh, so it's it's really a new generation of dictionary. So um, wh when you search for a, a simple word, you'll have thousands of examples, uh, tens of uh, dozens of uh, translations, and you can click on each example and have uh, examples uh, related for the to, to the translation. You can listen to examples, you can bookmark them. Um, and all those examples are coming from real life. So it's, uh, uh, it's movie dialogues, it's official documents, it's newspapers, it's uh, articles. And so this is really a, a live dictionary. So, and we enhance it all the time. And so you can not only look for simple words, you can look for technical terms, you can look for idiomatic phrases, you can look for dialogues. So how are you? You have 10, time, 10, 10 variants to how to say it. Uh, great to, to see you. And the, the same thing for uh, if you look at uh, screwdrivers and things like that, you, you have a lot of different ways to use it. So what is very interesting with our uh, ecosystem is that we have a browser extension that allows you to use this tool within your browser to, uh, while you're watching movies while you're reading news articles, while you're uh, reading books, and you can directly interact with, uh, with that. 
And so you, you can get the translation in the context of your sentence. And we have patented a, a mechanism that allows you to, to select automatically the best segment uh, that, uh, that is relevant within the sentence so that you don't have to, to, to understand what, what is the, uh, the phrase uh, which is in the, the sentence. Uh, you, it will do it for you automatically. So it will give you the meaning of each word individually plus uh, the, the meaning of the, the relevant passage. Um, and like that, you can, you can collect vocabulary that you can learn on the go. So it works with Chrome, Firefox, on Netflix and other things. And then with our mobile app, the, the words that you gathered while you're browsing on the web or a mobile app, you can learn them. It creates automatically flashcards. It creates games. And so instead of playing, you know, like uh, sometimes silly games on the, on the mobile while you're wait, waiting, you can improve your vocabulary in a nice way, in a fun way. And we have adaptive learning, which means that all the flashcards are related to the words that you've searched or similar words and based also on which ones you memorized. So we, we show you the ones that you didn't memorize so well and, uh, and you see the progression at the end. So we are one of the only uh, tools uh, that has worldwide uh, exposure and which supports, which has a real support of Hebrew. Because we have not only Hebrew English as you can see morphics, for example, but uh, so first of all, even for Hebrew English, we, we uh, give you much more than morphics is, is giving you. But we also have Hebrew to French, to Russian, to Arabic. So the main languages that are used in Israel and Arabic also to French, English, uh, Hebrew. And so it's a, it's a very, uh, uh, very few tools have this coverage and have a world class uh, for, for this type of, of languages. And so we offer voice output, we offer uh, conjugation, uh, so we have a very good verb conjugator for both uh, Hebrew, Arabic, Russian, and it's an advanced um, tool with, in which you can enter any uh, form of the verb. It will show you the conjugation table. You can link, you can see the, the translation of each conjugation, and uh, you can also see the, the phonetics. So another um, area where uh, Reverso is active is the uh, neural machine translation. And we have, so it was our, uh, the machine translation is one of our core uh, skills. And we, we moved to a neural machine translation like everyone in the last two years. And we, uh, but what we do specifically is that we, we have developed a very good way to uh, train uh, models for companies or domains and uh, with automated non-regression so we can do very fast and very efficient customization and we have very large customers like uh, um, big industries that are using that not only for the translators but for everyone in the company so it's like a, a google translate inside the companies customized for the for the company and it's very popular uh, in europe and so uh why are we happy to be here? So first of all, because uh, we, we just acquired six months ago uh, Ginger Software, and we are very proud of it. And I hope, I think uh, Alex, our CTO, and oh, one of our engineers there is, uh, is in the room, um, Alex Benari. And so Ginger uh, was the pioneer, uh, one of the pioneers in the uh, NLP field in Israel. And so we're very happy that now it's it joined the rest of the ASO group. And we're going to invest in this company and to, uh, uh, to continue to lead on the, on, the, um, uh, on, on the text correction, but not only. Uh, so uh, right now we do text correction, very uh, fine text correction for English, but uh, there are a lot of different uh, ways to, uh, to help you write better and faster. <coughs> And uh, so we, we also are welcoming people to join our team and to show that not only the GAFAS can build tools that are adopted by millions. And I think it's important that uh, there are independent uh, teams that, that build world-class products and that for people that don't want necessarily to, uh, 
of course, there's a big attraction for the GAFAs, but I think there's life outside of the GAFAs, and, and Reverso is one of the few that can offer you the possibility to express yourself. Uh, and, um, and so uh, the, the, uh, the other point where we are happy to be, to be in Israel is we, we believe with what we showed that um, Reverso can be a standard for the education community and for Olim, that it can be a tool even more adopted. And uh, we, we believe, that I know that there's an initiative by the government to, uh, to uh, promote the creation of uh, linguistic resources, and we are very happy to be part of that uh, because our, uh, our uh, raw material is bilingual texts. And so, but, but what we can do is from bilingual texts, transform it into a tool that is uh, useful for the whole community. And so uh, we, we'd be happy to, uh, to join in initiatives uh, uh, related to, uh, to uh, collecting bilingual, big bilingual uh, data, as there was uh, uh, in Europe. In Europe, there's a lot of, uh, we, we benefited from uh, different European projects. That's how we, we could do this uh, uh, good tools. Uh, so here we are. So we are, we are really happy to, uh, and I'm again, extremely sorry not to be with you. I, I wanted to shake hands with all of you. I wanted to, but you see, uh, I didn't want to wear a mask like this, uh, and uh, uh, and it was just yesterday that there was this ban. And um, again, we, we are located in uh, um, our offices on uh, Rothschild Mindspace. Uh, I'd be happy to meet you next time I'm there uh, with the team. You can meet the team uh, in the meantime, and uh, so please uh, uh, download the, the tool, give us your opinion. Uh, use the online, use the uh, the mobile app, and uh, share it with you and uh, with with people around you. And uh, again, let's be in touch. And uh, uh, okay. <laughs>